Hello, I wanted to talk a little bit about World War III. Um, World War III is going to be the, the last war. There's not going to be a World War IV. Um, and the, the end times has a lot of detail that can only happen during World War III. A lot of uh, major it appears to be like nuclear war and all sorts of major things will happen to cause a large portion of the world to die in the Bible and in Revelation particularly and in other places to where it um, it'll be during the Great Tribulation and we believe from what we see in the Bible, this is after the Christians are taken out of the world. So I put together on this map, sort of in the red, is the tyrannical, um, dictatorial, terrorist type nations. And then in the blue, I've got the democratic nations. Um, not saying they're not without fault either, but just thought I'd go over this a little bit and I'd appreciate your comments if you have some intel on this if we bring this map out again we can discuss it and maybe uh, fine-tune it a little bit um, so let me just go over some of these um, also in purple I've got Pakistan well like a week ago they were at war with Iran, but a few days before that, they were doing joint military exercises. Then, like after their little spat where they were uh, shooting at each other, then they were back to being friends again. So I've got them in purple here because I don't think um, these people know which way they want to go. Um, if they're red leaning, I've got them pink. If they're blue leaning, I've got kind of this lighter bluish color. Um, over here, you got Venezuela, who invaded Guyana and took over like two thirds of it. Um, you've got a hot war here, as Israel's real small, and Lebanon is where Hezbollah is. North of there, that's in red. Then you got Syria's in red. Um, you've got Iran attacking Iraq, and um, you got Syria. All the all the terrorist supplies and the Hezbollah supplies are going into Syria, where Damascus is. And there's a scripture saying that Damascus is going to be destroyed. Um, that's in Isaiah chapter 17, verse one. Um, the Houthis are down here, and they're shooting missiles at everybody, and they're allied with Iran. Um, possibly Jordan could be red or blue. I don't. I'm not sure which. Um, the Saudis have been enemies with Iran for a long time. Um, India does not get along with Pakistan. Um, over here, you've got Kim Jong-un in North Korea making threatening remarks against the South. Um, you've got China making um, threatening moves everywhere. Here's China. you got Russia attacking Ukraine and actually took over part of it along here. Um Russia threatening other countries along here. And then you've got Finland and Sweden, and they're trying to get into NATO. And I think maybe they did already, or one of them did. Um, but there's just so much going on. It's And we're getting closer and closer. Things keep escalating. You know, we don't know if China's going to invade Taiwan over here. They keep threatening. They send their Navy out there all the time. And fly over it. They're sending those balloons all over it. Um, 
Taiwan's a very critical place for uh, making computer chips. Um, there's so much going on and so much turmoil and confrontation that it seems like it's escalating to the point, particularly particularly in, in Israel, to where it does not seem like there may be any turning back. It may be escalating into World War III eventually. And this could happen really fast, or it might take a while, it might simmer. Um, but this is a real concern. I mean, however, if you are in Christ, if you have given your faith to Jesus, you believe on him for your salvation, and you trust in Jesus, you don't have anything to worry about because you're not going to be around to see it when it gets really, really bad. Um, Jesus is not going to let you go through it. He's not going to put his people through it. So, this is going to be the worst time in the history of the world when this all happens. Please consider trusting in Jesus before this happens, before it's too late. We believe the door is going to shut pretty soon. There won't be any more chances to escape this madness to where there's just one cataclysmic event after another where a big portion of the world's population is going to be eliminated. Um, Jesus came to, to save man. He wants... He wants to save you. It doesn't matter what you've done in your life. He died on the cross and he shed his blood. He paid for sin. All you have to do is accept his payment. Repent of your sin. And he will save you. So please consider that. Um, I just wanted to, to share this with you. Please leave in your comments anything about what I've said or, or anything about the map. And, you know, we may come back and revisit this as things change and, and happen um, as long as we're able to do that. Um, so please smash the like button and subscribe and we can go through more things in the future. Thank you very much.